that and that. Do you guys hear me right? Or, or I can hear I you, come... Carl. Okay. Yep. yep. Okay, Jonas. Hey, Tom. <laughs> hey, Carl. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa, Pedro? ¿Qué tal? So, Jonas, is there... I, I, this is my first time, so I, you know, I'm an old guy, and technology is very difficult. So, Jonas, is there audio now? Okay, good. I hit the right button. So, Jonas is watching us on YouTube. So, the first round of the Board Space Open has just started. They actually just a few minutes ago played the the first first match. So, do you, let's see. Let's see if how I can get. You want to join me in room 80? As Carl knows, I think, that's... Yeah, I think, I, I think that room should be named after you. And that's my, that's my favorite room. I get upset when yeah. I log on and somebody like Carl is yeah. in room 80. And, and every time and every time you're logged in, I, I go to another room. I, I know my space. I know where I have to go. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, remember, remember a few weeks ago, uh, it was Frasco playing on room A. I said, what are you doing? That's Randy's room. <laughs> so we've got, uh, this is, this is a two games that were played earlier today. Uh, let's go ahead and get one of them going. Max Shark against In a Minute. <clears throat> and of course, Max is one of the top players from the borscht, the red beetle soup. So he he made actually did fairly quickly on on this. He he opened with a pill bug. What do you guys think about opening with a pill bug? Well, really, really strong. I think is one of the main pieces to to start. So yeah, Pedro yeah. says Pedro thinks yeah. it's very strong. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, I think it's strong. I think a lot of people will play uh, queen in line. So you'll see that kind of pill bug, queen in line, ant, and then mosquito falls in fourth. Max plays it a little differently. He usually tries to get Z orientation, but it's still strong. It's really strong in Z as well. See, my biggest okay. concern about opening with the pill bug is doesn't it, doesn't it lose some flexibility of warping your queen away? Um. Because the inner be the inner hive the inner hive gets gets filled up. Yeah, it's easier to surround, I guess, and it's less less time to cover it with a beetle if you're going to run across. Probably the main weaknesses. It's interesting though. I've been playing around with it lately too. Yeah, I, I, I think it, it is a pressure. Oops, yeah, sorry, it ahead. is a, it is a, a strong statement to to open it. And uh, I have a cross so to, uh, you know, to play on many players that do it. And uh, you have to be very skillful not to get your peel books around it and have a continuous attack on it. So it's, it's not something that you can, to me, it's not something that you just throw to anyone. I would never open peel book, you know, to Alex or to Qualibet or a skillful player. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at that, looking at some statistics from the High Fair Play Cup. There were 308 games played. 56 of them white started with the pill bug. 18 of them black started with the pill bug. Now let's see what the results were. Average white score throughout the entire tournament was 54%. With the pill bug, white score went up to 60%. Yeah. So let's see. That sounds right. I mean, there's a lot of different factors to take into account. You don't know the skill level of the players playing Correct. the mm -hmm. openings and responding. But yeah, it's definitely, it's just very aggressive because white doesn't waste the tempo later on playing their pill bug off their queen. They just have right. an immediate threat from the start. So black, instead of being able to surround the queen or even attack off the back, you have to force black to uh, you know qualify for the win. And oftentimes black... It's not easy to find the tempo to do such when white's attacking so strongly. And it's cool to have the ladybug to attack with too. 
That's true. Whoa. Hmm. So, in a minute, play the buffered queen, but then uh, hmm. Max was able to immediately get his mosquito up atop the hive. So I think this is a good lesson for beginning players. I think in a minute is a relatively new player. Of course, qualifying for the win is required in order to to win with the pill bug. You have to neutralize the pill bug. And the quickest way to do that, or the most common way to do that, is to get a beetle or a mosquito up. So the mosquito, he quite got the mosquito up early here. And I don't want to dominate conversation, so you all please feel free to talk. Um, yeah, I think it's helpful to maybe see a few more moves. I mean, that's not how I would traditionally play the buffer. Usually you would see the spot that was right um, next to the beetle, ladybug, and queen filled. That's kind of the traditional buffer yeah. system. Uh, make, that, make that spot safe. Correct. I think this is so bad for for black i yeah, mean really bad already <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> this is the only move that maybe black have some chain yeah, but even... letting the mosquito <laughs> up this is so bad and even pinning it it's pretty it's pretty ugly <laughs> right yeah so for hive players out there this is a good example of what not to do right yeah. I mean, just playing the beetle that early in a buffer with the white mosquito already out there. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I guess when he played the beetle, the mosquito wasn't down, but just the potential of it is, I don't know. Maybe right. if you just rushed the beetle immediately, but even then, I don't think you have enough time. Yep, I agree. Okay, so let's go back to here and see. I'm not as good as Fresco yeah. is on. You, hold on, go back, arrow back. I oh, know you should be good now, right? Yeah, we're. I think we're good now. And then, of Ooh. course, the other thing is here. Uh, Black allowed the mosquito to get out, and you ended up with three direct drop spots. So I think by this point in the game, by Black allowing the white mosquito to cover the queen, I think it's fairly well over at this point. Wouldn't you all agree? Well, I yeah. think he, he, he had a chance to go uh, on a parallel defense with the peel bug if, if he... You know, if you place the mosquito and then the pill, but it's too late now. And then this is another very instructional, don't do this kind of thing, which will show up later in the game. He self-pinned the beetle in this bi-directional pin, so the beetle was never able to, to be free. They might be trying to pre-swamp. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I doubt Lee. Well, like that the, the answer to that is he's not as experienced a player, so I don't think he was planning on planning on doing mm -hmm. that. But we all started out at this level somewhere, didn't we? Yeah. So I uh, just before we went live, uh, Troy, that's Hot Rails. And Ben, that's Rice again. Uh, we're very briefly visited on uh, Zoom. They're in Iowa, and Ben owns a Chick fil A franchise, so he was working today, and Troy was just passing through on his way to uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. 
And we all know who lives in Sioux Falls, don't we? <laughs> so, Al, who, who this? Joe? Joe, Joe lives yeah. in Sioux Falls. Okay. So what, what is uh, what is uh, Troy doing? Like, uh... Uh, he's been just traveling around a lot, so I don't know exactly. He told, he told me today that he's going to be in Sioux Falls for an extended period of time. Sounds like fun. And then, of course, once, once White was able to place all three, all three direct drops, now the grasshopper can't jump and free the, the beetle. So this game, Max, made fairly, fairly quick work of it. Yeah, it seems like someone who's not super experienced, but... No, he's... Mm -hmm. Like we said, good way to learn. Um... Yeah, I mean, you can see quickly the tempo count. So as soon as white covers the queen, it's already pretty much lost for black. There's not really a good way to recover tempo. And even probably before that point, but concretely here, you see it takes white, one, two, three, ant move, four, mosquito drop, five, and black okay. is... Black still has not qualified for the win, so he's got a lot to do. One, yeah, two, black's at least one, two, three, seven, seven eight. four, five. Yeah, seven's probably how it count. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at the second game. This is actually a very good game showing tempo count. So when we get to that point, because once once it reached a certain point, Max had it had his tempo count already done and just went about attacking. Now this is interesting. Both players opened with pill bugs. What do you guys think about that? White pill bug, I mean, we already covered it. Black pill bug, not very good. Shouldn't really be played at a high level, but if you're playing people who don't know how to handle it, it can work. Maxar is one of the best players who play black pill bug. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is not so bad because he know. Uh, Max, you know, it's like, um, what's his other name? There are certain players that always play you black people always. So uh, I think I only come across once playing like this that I open with, and uh, yeah, surprise fish answer with that. And, uh, it was on the Blitz, Christmas Blitz, I think, the final game. Mm. It went okay. anyway, anyway, pretty crazy. I mean, and it still saves you the tempo from placing it later. Um, I don't know, maybe you could try to extract the white pill bug with it too. But yeah, I, I in general, I used to like it, but I don't think it, I, I don't really think it's as good now. What do you guys think about responding to white pill bug with black mosquito? I, I don't know. I, I think okay. it, it all depends who you're playing with. It, it really, it really does. I have learned that some players that I come across that I open with white pill bug, uh, ladybug is best. And two other ones, uh, you know, uh, the uh, inline uh, black mosquito, black queen, black pill bug. Mm. It, it, it's, it's really, it's really who, who you're playing with. I, that's, that's what I believe. So let's take a quick look here. Uh, if white opens with in, during the, in, the fair play cup, if white opened with a pill bug, and black followed with a mosquito. The score ended up, there were 13 of them, black won seven of them, and one draw. And again, that's, we can't really tell because we don't know the quality of the players, but white pill bug followed by black pill bug, small sample size showed that black was, was adva advantageous in that one. So let's go ahead and continue on this game and see what happens.
It's a confusing queen placement. Yes. Again, again, not again showing the not the most experienced player, but in a minute we're looking forward to you in a minute becoming a better player. So thank you very much for playing in the board space open. Now the other interesting thing was the white queen was placed away from the white pill bug, so that was not advantageous either. And as you'll see here, once once white warped the beetle into here, I would think that would would you all agree that the black pill bug would probably move away? Well, black doesn't even have to move away, right? This is probably what Max realized. I don't think Max was concerned about that. Since he already played the first game and, you know, he noticed the uh, inaccuracy. Right. And you'll notice that at this point, this is where the bug count really went into play and Black. Max just was attacking. He didn't have to worry about any kind of defense. I wonder. I wonder if that white mosquito would have been spawned right next to the uh, white peel bug. That would have made a difference there. That would have made a difference because that would have provided the proximity Respawn. pill bug. Situation right. pre-swamp, right? <clears throat> and pre-swamp the ladybug, yep. Right, but I mean, black could still just cover the the ladybug, right? You know, yeah. And then it's going to be done anyways. And that was a good a good example of a wasted the tempo. He ended up moving the mosquito to that spot where he could have just spawned it there. And then once he moved, yeah. the, once he jumped the mosquito over, and unpre swamped is that a word? <laughs> unpre swamped the ladybug. Then it was over. What's the name of seppuku? Suicidal tendencies. That, that's it. <laughs> so we should be, we should have some very interesting matches going on. Uh, Let's see. All of us except for Alex are playing in the board space open, aren't we? Oh no, Pedro, did you qualify? Yeah. Okay, so you're not in the board, you're not in the board space open. No. So we'll throw in a we'll throw in a, a a promo right now for the upcoming European Hive Championship, and convention which will be going on the second weekend in june i don't know if you just noticed it or, or not that john yanni and fresco salerno just announced that the winner of the hive tournament at the previous weekend at the uk high uk game convention i think it's called is going to get uh flight and hotel paid to go to the European convention. Wow. Yes. I have a new book coming out called Hive Ring Theory, and I started a Kickstarter, but I, I have not been promoting it the way I should have. I, I, I learned a lot on Kickstarter, which I probably won't ever do again, but my plan was if I was successful that I would be able to attend, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be successful. So <laughs> unless my wife... Unless my wife allows me to spend the money, I probably won't be going. <laughs> so, 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 did did you get any collaboration on the, uh, or are you getting any any help on the uh, Ring uh, book? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of a lot of good response, and I, but the problem is with Kickstarter, it's all or nothing, 
and they include freight in the amount. And if, for example, if Pedro bought one, for example, oh, Max, Max was on, and he said, thank you for the stream. Congratulations, Max, on your on winning the first the first match of the first round of the Board Space Open. Hello, Max. So, Kickstarter require considers shipping as part of the as part of the commitment for, by by players by buyers, and shipping would because we're autographing. We were planning on autographing all the copies. It's more than if you buy it straight from Amazon. And so I had to take that into consideration. So, for example, if Pedro bought one, I, it would be, I, I, would, I would have gotten it while I was in Budapest, autographed it, and John Yanni would autograph it, and we'd have to mail it from, from Budapest to Spain, which was a bit expensive. Hmm. Since Pedro lives in, like, the far end of Europe. Yeah, you're you're on like the southern coast of Spain, aren't you? Yeah, I would like in Spain, Italy, some someone to m more close. So, does anybody want to play a game? And let's we'll we'll the rest of us will comment. Um, <laughs> I like to watch. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 you know, I'd be interesting maybe to see uh, to array. First of all, is it Pedro the youngest player to compete on the uh, World Cup? Randy, since you're the uh, stat man, I don't know absolutely <laughs> for certain, but I think there's a fairly good chance that he's the youngest. How old are you, Pedro? Now I'm seventeen. Okay. Oh, to be 17 again, right? Well, it, you could be 17 again, but with all that you know already. Oh, with, with everything that we know already, uh, correct. No, it, otherwise, it's just a, you know, it's a, it's a last trip. <laughs> it's like playing with a field book. <laughs> okay, so let's, well, let's get a, get a game going. Pedro, pick, pick your opponent, Pedro. Okay. Alex, that's a good choice, Alex. Good. All right. <laughs> what uh what that's room are we moving to? Looks like room one. All right. That works. What time setting? <laughs> yeah, let's do something fast. Yeah, relatively fast. Something like five five. Okay. You sure about that? Yeah, I know. Pedro is very good in quick games. Yeah, but, uh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him smile. Look at his smile. <laughs> I like this. He's got, he's got the speedy you, mouse you, on yeah, his you, side. Yeah. You told him five five. He said, "Yeah, go." go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do? You want to do random first? Or you want me to play white? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Black. It's fine for me. And are we commenting out loud? Should we? Should people mute? What's the what's the deal? What what's this you? Hmm? What, well, why don't we just you? why don't we just watch and then because it's fairly quick, we'll just watch and then we'll all come back later and, and comment on it. Have fun, Alex. Hey, all you too. So for those of you on YouTube, we've got Ordep Kubek and A.E. Norman 43 playing in a very rapid game, five plus five.
We're all very quiet here because we don't want to give Alex or Pedro any advice, although I don't know that our advice would be any good for players of this level.
on YouTube. Data map says hola a todos. I guess if we do this again, I'll have to get some background music. For those of you that are joining the stream, we are watching Alex and Pedro play. We're going to comment on the game afterwards. Yeah. Good game. Yeah. Tough one. I thought your uh, I thought your initial idea of playing Beetle in this pocket to recover when the mosquito came. I thought that might have worked better, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure how it was gonna play out. Let's go back to room eighty and do a review. 
Ok. So, Alex and Pedro, do you all want to follow along and let us know what you were thinking? Yep. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, so I started with Ladybug, which is kind of a standard flexible opening. Yeah. Since it was quick time constraints, I thought um, instead of playing something like Buffer, which leads to kind of longer drawn out games, I'll we'll go for a more aggressive opening that maybe he hasn't seen quite as much to try and throw him off, make him use some time. The end in elbow was a bit strange, I think. Yeah, I, I used to play Ant Elbow like a long time ago when I was kind of getting better at the game and uh, got away from it. But I've been testing it again recently, and I think it, it's pretty pretty strong. Yeah. The obvious downside I... is if, if Black wants, they can force C. Or... Yeah, this, this is what I want to say. Yeah. But you can play Buffer, I mean. Yep. Could be. Mosquito, Queen. Yeah, so here I didn't want to let him play buffer. That's why I pin the ant in the orientation I do. Mm -hmm. Just so everyone watching, following along, I pin here so that the queen can't be placed here, as opposed to if you pin here, the queen could still be placed in that spot. Actually, when I play black buffer like this, if someone pins my ant like that, a lot of times I'll play my queen um, straight off oh, the sure. mosquito. Yep. And then you can just fill in the elbow afterwards and yep. still get the buffer. You're giving tempo though, right? If you play your queen there, white can play another ant. Then if you fill in that, to... sorry, uh, maybe it'll be easier if we just, it's like Tom saying this. Yeah. But then white, of course, do something like this. And then you don't have to fill this spot with the ant, but just traditionally, that's kind of what the black buffer set up someone looks yeah. like but you could fill this with whatever pill bugs probably strong there yeah that's even what i usually even I, I, or something i usually use the pill bug when i do it that way yep that makes sense yeah definitely viable yeah i believe see mm -hmm. what this mosquito was i don't know for, for only for attack because with my yeah. move, don't have the ant forward. Yeah, that was good, I think, the mosquito move. The white, the black mosquito attack? Mm -hmm. So this mosquito is a bit... No, no many mo moves. No, I... Only work with the pill book. With yep, how that was my... It. Yeah, that was my intention, is to kind of play that electric flank. Yeah, when, when, when I saw a mosquito by himself right there, white mosquito, I said, hmm, something strange. Yeah, there's some, I've seen, I think back in the day, Quad used to play some variations like this, and then hmm. I've seen it. Other yeah, people. yeah, it, it does. It used to. So now when Pedro set up the set up the beetle factory here, I was thinking that uh, he was one one tempo late in getting the beetle in, wasn't he? One tempo late. Hmm. Go ahead and play it. Go ahead and continue continue playing out. Sure. So I just capped the mosquito here. I could have shifted this pin to prevent this, but then you run into a lot of weird tempo issues. So like if I shift this ant here, 
black plays another ant, then I have to decide, am I going to pin that ant? In which case, I let the beetle spawn here, and then right. some nasty attacks start happening. Right. So I decided to just cap and leave this, which maybe wasn't the best idea in retrospect. Um, I can't play the beater right now because the mosquito is defending. Yep. So I try the ant for more flexibility. Makes sense. Yeah, and then this was kind of my plan all along. I was like, all right, I'm going to play this pillbug off my mosquito and maybe use it for offense, maybe defense if necessary, but it's obviously trickier with the black mosquito located where it is. Spider there is smart. I like that. Yeah. And beetle. The white beetle here maybe is slow. I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't a hundred percent sure what to play here. I wanted to force a beetle up somehow. Um obviously. Or maybe I was... just an ant. I, I I think maybe, but then then I can even run into some weird variations where if you pin, uh, maybe it's maybe it works. I wasn't sure how something like this would play out. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's fine after that, but this starts looking a little hairy. But probably Actually, it's I don't know. I thought it might be okay for Black just to attack before he plays the spider, like before you even got the beetle. Oh, right, after, right after the white field book, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that field of spot right there. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like, you know, I like the uh, the white beetle too on that spot because it draw blacks to defend on that side and self pin the uh, the queen, you know, with the, with the uh, with the field book. Because right now the queen is very mobile. So if you if you decide to go on that side, you can easily go away. Mm -hmm. And you and you wasted two slow uh, tiles on that side. Mm -hmm. so, so do you think it? Here. So do you think at some point, black could warp the queen away, and then the white beetles are actually actually after the white beetle is played warp the queen away the white beetles all are quite a ways away from her right um, yeah yeah that's definitely possible you know once once Stepan Stepanso told me you know if if you don't get any defenders around get a beetle on top <laughs> this is it's a very good advice Okay, so who's okay? There we go. This is the K moment of the game. Yeah, yeah. this was my plan. Yeah. I, I yeah. knew the beetle would recover. I wanted to play my pill in here. So it kind of breaks up Black's pocket. If they ever fill, I'll just warp the queen out. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I didn't think about how it would progress uh, after that point. It's not actually super easy for White to climb here. Yeah, but I'll, 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 yeah that's, that's what I was wondering. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what I was wondering, why the ant didn't come over here and stop that spawn point here. Well, that's not... So if the ant shifts there, for example, I can always just play something here. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then, and I'll, then warp and then I'll to warp it the next turn. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sure it's actually any better, but maybe it, maybe it was. Yeah. And black, and like I said, you know, that, that second white beetle was, it, I think that as a key play, real good play, because, you know, you, you, you have to defend on that side and, and now you're self pinning yourself with the uh, black uh, pill bug to avoid getting warped mm -hmm. over the uh, mos white mosquito. Right.
So one of the things I've always wondered when watching these games is at what point is the game destined to turn out the way that it did? Uh, I think there's still a lot up in the air right here. How would you defend this attack, Alex? Like if you were black? The, yeah, I thought the amp play was fine. Actually, I think it's a few moves later, and it's something that probably if you've rewatched the stream, you'll see Pedro considers placing Beatle. So if we step a few moves forward, probably two plies, I think. He plays an ant, then I play an ant. Okay, so he plays the ant. I play here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, maybe come on. So I play yeah. here because now I'm actually wondering. Okay, I don't really have any great spots to warp the queen to if he fills in here. Um, so I actually wasn't wasn't sure what would happen if, for example, a non beetle piece gets played here. Maybe grasshopper. And I also wasn't 100 percent sure if black could get away with playing a beetle out here. So that's why I played an ant there instead of a spider or something. For example, to free the mosquito, I wanted to give the ant the mosquito ant power specifically. Hmm. My ant was for waiting a a time because if I play beetle here, you warm my queen. Right. So this but, ant was. For... Yeah, that makes sense. But now, if you play the play beetle, a beetle here, right? Yeah, that's not no. as bad. It's not as bad. I don't know what would happen after this. I mean, you, Black's still getting their pieces strung out. Right. But, but maybe at that point, you can just say, my queen's far enough away. I'm just going for the... I'm not losing, I'm just, that, at least. Now I'm just going for the counterattack, something. I don't know. Right. Yeah. You can pull the ladybug out instead of the queen, too. That That's true. And proximity pillow, also. Yeah. No, no, no. Warp the, the, um, the Black L. But if you yeah. if you warp the black black ladybug out, the black queen still has the defending pill bug. Although the white the white mosquito could could right. move up. The, mis the mosquito is right, free to go. Yeah, then this probably this probably climbs. What the heck is happening? I can't control it very well, but yeah, I would climb with the mosquito right there right. on top of the pill bug. Hmm. So it's definitely it's tricky. Could be. I pin the ant. Isn't it how in, isn't it interesting how this game seems so simple, but yet it's so deep? Yep. And then right here, I started realizing, <laughs> oh, it's not going to be easy for me to takes a lot of tempo for my mosquito to get to the pill bug. No. Um, but I thought if I didn't climb, then I would just have no chance to finish the game. What's the next move here? Mosquito uh, climb. climb. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, what else can oh, you do? There you go. Yeah. I didn't see a great continuation otherwise. Obviously, the downside is by covering my own pill bug. I uh, let him play back into this pocket. So I considered stepping onto my ladybug as kind of a waiting move. But I wasn't sure how that would play out exactly. I saw that one. Yeah. I was just going to say, pound. take away the pocket it might be a good idea here. Yeah, but you might cover, know. but maybe you can play just a beetle off of your pill bug. Where? No, so like if, if white steps forward, black can probably okay. even get away with something like this. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe the white ant comes over and pins it then. I don't, it's not clear. That might be okay. Well, doesn't doesn't black give up all chances of attacking by placing the second beetle, or is the white queen far enough away from the pill bug that he doesn't doesn't have to worry about it? Yeah, uh, you don't need to get one on top right there. Maybe, yeah, maybe really. for the uh, maybe for the ladybug, but not not for uh, qualifying. Right. Mm -hmm. So just and trying to take away spawn one, points. Two, three. Yeah. At this point, that's what I would be thinking as black. Like you just don't want. I mean, white's running out of places to play stuff. So, I mean, yep. you're in trouble, but what else do you have? If... So, yeah, I think that was probably, I can't remember what got played in the game. Well, he didn't, yeah, he didn't do the ant move. There you go. Oh, the yeah, this yeah. move. I didn't fully understand that. I don't know, free the 
the lady the lady one. back for attack yeah this i don't think no more <laughs> yeah because it, right after that when the lady the black lady jumped i i figured why did he jump there he's you know he's a pre, almost pre swamping the uh the white lady bar on the yeah. next one so i stepped i covered the queen and then he played this nice move to prevent the drop right But I did see this ring starting the form with the pill bug. So whenever I decide to create the ring, assuming I fill this spot, which I did later, there's actually no way for black to prevent the pill bug warping offensively. Right. So we have another relatively new player has joined us in the board space review room. Sim Hot A. Welcome, Sim Hot A. Okay. Hello. This is fine. So back to the game. What did what did Pedro do? I think he moved. It. Yeah. Yeah. The elm move. I, I I would have moved that one right next to the mosquito. Hmm. Yeah. What's well, that? You just don't want him to be able to make the ring. Is that what you're thinking, Carl? Yeah. To free, the, I, I, free the white ladybug. It also threatens yeah, the. Well, yeah, because right. it, ladybug was was pre swamped from both both sides when it, when the ladybug came in there in that spot. Right, and then like uh, Alex just said, you can use the ladybug to pin the white ant too. Maybe take away another okay. attacker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because right here I wasn't entirely sure how to finish this game. But the Lydia that, came there. That factory of uh, spawning right 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 be behind the uh, white pill because it's great, great, great place. Right, but he he shuts that down in a second. That's why I made this move first. I wanted another spawn point. The beetle Still, comes I mean, down. That's not even I mean, oh, I guess after you hop the hopper, it's a halfway decent spawn point, but it's I don't know. Well, you don't right have there, a lot of good the, angles. Yeah, I thought this I thought this was okay, mm -hmm. angle wise. One one problem is that the for from black standpoint is it's very hard to do anything without freeing the ladybug. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you know what my favorite piece is, right? The ladybug, I'm guessing. The ladybug. <laughs> now I think this move. My world championship was the one with the ladybug. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, it's gotcha. so difficult for white to keep yeah. attacking. Right, that's not bad. Yeah, I think here you started counterattacking, but you almost had me. Like you could have almost. I think you were close to defending it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have time to count. To count. Yeah, them. well, that so... that was part of my thought too. I thought, oh, in a quicker game, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't play this in classical. Well, not this exact variation, of course. Yeah. But I mean, the beetle didn't seem bad because maybe eventually you walk it up, cover the ladybug, and then your attack should be able to finish. It just became a bit of a tempo issue, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a a good case of white has the tempo, and there's I don't think there's anything that black can do. Yeah, I'm not. I'm thinking probably this needed to go. No, I don't know how this. I don't know. Because then the ant gets warped. Yeah. I don't right. Know. The ant goes in and the hopper. Yeah. Well, probably that, you know, that, that, uh, that ant move over, over the Black Queen is a great move since uh, you got the white peel book right there. You can work both angles of the, of the, uh, 
next to a spot right next to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good chapter in Randy's book, I guess. Yeah, that's great. Ring. Yeah, that was that was good for me. And it stops the Black Queen escaping if yeah, you know, like if you want to put the hopper in first or something. Mm-hmm. But even here, I wasn't Grasshopper came there, but I I wasn't. I thought maybe I don't know. Maybe something like this was even playable. No, because he just puts the ant in, and then he's got another pocket, right? Like where? Can... Yeah. The the yes. ant attacks the here, and then the pill bug would be. Oh, you you would go there first. Yeah, yeah. That's what oh, okay, do. right. Yeah. Because now that now this pocket is pin proof. If if uh, white if white if black allows yeah. a white bug in there, it's gonna it's gonna take the setup shot here. Yeah, you're right. Because the the second grasshopper comes down off the back. Yeah, I was thinking right, black exactly. Ship, I was thinking they could shift the pin to deny the pocket, but yeah, you're right. It's too slow. This, I assume, was just to threaten to fill that ladybug spot once it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. And then it's... The priest one. And yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Definitely a close game. I think it... One tempo. Yeah. Yeah. One could have gone yeah. for black yeah. very easily. Well, very good. It's very... worth noting. It's much harder to play black in shorter time controls. No. Well, I think we had at some point somebody had the discussion that it's it's much more difficult to defend when when you don't have time. Do you all agree with that? Wow. Well, yeah, I would agree. I would agree with that. Yeah, you just have to think more. I think when you're defending, you know, so. Well, it depends. I mean, if you if you can have you know the kills the uh, kill shot to you know to defend, and if you get a good um, anti-spawn and well you know distribute uh, tiles, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a lot of thinking about it. But um, you know you can still be defending and not being um, having four kill spot available, and you should be in trouble. So it, it depends. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate everybody joining us this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for inviting us, Rain. Maybe I'll be doing this on a regular basis on it. Do you all think it was beneficial? We'll see what kind of comments we get. Uh, we max. I think we maxed out at 14, 14 viewers on the live stream. That's and, nice. and of course with, Carl and Pedro here. We're looking looking forward to uh, growing the Latin community, the Spanish speaking community. Pedro, if you haven't already joined up with his and subscribed to his YouTube channel, please do so. Pedro, do you want to throw any any co- good comments in for recommendation for your channel? Bueno. Pues intento subir todo, todas las semanas o cada dos semanas vídeos. Y si alguno que hable español pues me está viendo, que sé que hay muchos que te ven a ti y no, no me conocen, pues que, que me miren mi canal e intenten apoyar todo lo que puedan, así como yo apoyo a la comunidad. You all get that, right? I did. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Pedro. Nada. So, uh, we appreciate everybody joining us today and be watching. We'll be live streaming. Hopefully, we'll be streaming some of the upcoming games in the Board Space Open. And, of course, later in the, later in the summer, uh, the uh, European Hive uh, Convention and Tournament. Even if I'm not there in person, they, we will be streaming that uh, with, uh, with John Yanni and Francesco will both be there at, at in Budapest. And if you're in North America, which most all of us here are, Carl isn't though, uh, there we will be having 
Hive events at the upcoming Gen Con 2024 in Indianapolis in August. We have, we've requested three events. One of them on Friday afternoon is going to be an introduction and simultaneous exhibit uh, with me playing against multiple opponents. And then there will be a Swiss system tournament on Saturday. And the top three finishers in the Swiss system tournament will play on Sunday for the uh, first ever North American Hive Championship, live in-person Hive Championship. So we're looking forward to that as well. And if you're watching this video and you are in the U.S. Uh, and you would like to have a Hive tournament at a local event, please let me know. If you're in the U.K. or in Europe, you can also contact Francesco, that's Frasco, because uh, Gen 42 Games, the publisher of Hive, and John Yanni, the designer of Hive, are looking to promote more in-person tournaments around the world. And so uh, we'll be looking forward to that as well. And again, thank you for everybody that joined us here uh, live. Thanks, Tom and Pedro and Alex and Carl for joining me this afternoon. We truly appreciate you all being here. Yeah, thanks any, for having us. Any final Good comments? What's that? Any any final comments from you guys? Well, uh, it is um, an honor being here with you guys. Since I have, uh, you know, I, I learned a lot from everybody. Not, not so much from Alex, but a lot from, from Tom, his crazy rings. <laughs> and uh, so does Randy. So, and Pedro, that he's, he's untreatable to, to play with. So uh, looking all forward to to make some more streaming and uh, collaborate with the community. Yep. Okay, very good. Welcome again to everybody that was here. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. And so we'll be signing off for today, be watching uh, for upcoming streams. We'll be hopefully streaming some live, some live gameplay uh, throughout the, the season, the board space open and the upcoming World Cup. Congratulations to Carl for the championship last year in the High Fair Play Cup. And congratulations to Alex and Pedro for qualifying already to the uh, World Championship later in the year. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Until next time, this is all of us saying so long and have fun playing Hive. Adios. Bye. Later. Night.